With us we have Agnes Chongarero, President of Namibia's Olympic Committee. Now, Agnes, the team has just arrived back here in Vintuk after a long flight. Um, coming back without any medals, but how were the performances, would you say? Personally, uh, thank you for the question, but personally I am not satisfied with the performance. This time, before the team left, we made everything possible available to the team. We even asked the, the, the coaches to make their plans available and financially we supported them. Now I think this is high time now that the athletes must account because we cannot always come and be interviewed and be asked what happened, what happened. We make everything available. It's the athletes who are, sub who are the ones who are going on the field. Let them tell the nation why they didn't get anything. I think that will be the best. The next step could be Brazil. What is your expectation? Should we start now maybe investing in them? Is it possible to get a medal in four years' time? I think we must start now for Brazil. But we have to look broader. Okay. We have to go back to the schools and get the youngsters also. I mean, some of these athletes of ours have been to all the games, all Africa, Commonwealth, not even the first uh, uh, um, Olympics. This is the second, some, maybe even third. But yet, we are still at the same spot. So I think we have to go back to the drawing board and we must go back to the, uh, to the schools and broader. We must get, look broader. I'm sure Namibia must have athletes out there, but the Olympic Committee cannot do that. That is the work of the federations, that is the work of the NSSU, and that is the work of the TISAN and all of us. It cannot be, because actually in all essence, the Olympic Committee is to deal with elite athletes. But now we are expected to go back and do the development even. That is not our uh, uh, mandate. The mandate is with different people. And I will ask all the federations to go out there and get the athletes because they are there. And once they are there, we can develop them. We can help them to become the stars. But just to stay with the few, I don't think we are moving. Then Agnes, one more thing. If you look at the financial input, for instance, Great Britain, they said um, they put in a hundred million pounds per year for their Olympic efforts. Um, what can we do maybe and what's your advice there? Let me be honest with you. The private sector will come in once the athletes start performing. Nobody wants to invest in something which, which is unknown. But once the names comes up, like, like all these athletes from, from South Africa, I, I read on the, on, the, on the plane, some already got cars, some got so this sponsorship and those sponsorship because they got medals. They are now known names. And then the sponsors will come in. So it's for us to put in something, have the athletes to, to perform. And once they perform, I'm sure the private sector will also come in.